Whoa. Crazy hair day. Hello! Welcome to this week, where I talk about something I did last week. Last weekend, I went to Winnipeg. The reason why I went to Winnipeg is because I went to the Canadian Federation of Students, Manitoba, Annual General Meeting, or CFSMB AGM. That's a lot of letters and words and hyphens and stuff, but yeah. For those of you who don't know, the Canadian Federation of Students is a nationwide union of students that come together and push the student movement and advocate for student rights and issues and equality and a lot of really good, good things. And Manitoba, the province that I live in, is a component of the Canadian Federation of Students. So every year at the end of April or beginning of May, they, held, they hold an annual general meeting where all the locals within the province get together and they vote on the directive that the union is going to take for the next year and they elect the next provincial executive. So Saturday at 6 a.m., all the delegates from the Brandy University Students Union hopped in a couple of minivans and drove to Winnipeg for a meeting at 9 o'clock. We met until 9, until about 9.30, and then at 9 a.m. the next day, we met until about 3.30, I believe, 2.30, 3.30, and then we drove home. So yeah, it doesn't sound that much fun, but my god, was it so much fun. It was a lot of work, but so much fun. How many locals are you talking about? What is a local? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you see, good sir, there are five locals within the province, and four of them showed up. Four of them showed up. I'm part of the Brandon University Students Union, Local 37. There's the University of Winnipeg, Local 8. The University of Manitoba, Local 103. Avec l'Association des étudiants et étudiantes du Collège Universitaire du Saint Boniface, Local 28. If you've never been to a CFSMB annual general meeting, uh, basically what happens is all the locals will meet in one room and the first thing we do is go through opening plenary. So there's roll call, there's electing the returning officer, and then we go through the motions that were served with notice. So some of them could be bylaw amendments, policies, campaigns that the Federation wants to work on for the next year, things like that. And then after that, we go through any if emergency motions. An emergency motion, if some of you are wondering, is something that happens after the deadline of serving motions happens, and it has to be resolved before the next general meeting. If it doesn't meet those two criteria, then it's just gonna be forwarded to the next AGM. So for this general meeting, most of the motions had to do with bylaw changes, and the Federation will strike three standing committees. We have Organization and Services Development, or OSD, campaigns and government relations, and then budget. Now, I don't know why, but I really like bylaws and policies and stuff like that. So I went to OSD this year. I actually went to OSD last November at the National General Meeting for the Canadian Federation of Students. And it was a lot of fun. There was a couple uh, motions that we need to talk about a bit. Um, but yeah, it's just, I don't know. I really like going to that one, so that's one I went to. So basically... I didn't think I actually got into this. How it's set up is after we go through opening plenary, we actually recommend motions to different standing committees so that they can deliberate over it over the next two days. And then we come back to closing plenary, and then that's when all the locals actually vote on the motions. So basically, the entire weekend was sitting around in rooms, talking about motions, and going through workshops, and talking about what the Federation can do for their students, and what it should be doing for their students, and the movement... That, this, uh, that the province wants to take this year. And it was honestly so much fun. I'm so excited to see what the Federation is going to do this coming year. Of course, I'm not going to be here for most of it, though their terms do start May 1st, which is Wednesday. But I'm not going to be here when a lot of the big stuff happens. So I'm kind of a little sad. But, you know, the show must go on. What's really great, though, is that we elected the new provincial executive. And they're the ones that make all the decisions, really. So the plenary, or all the locals, will vote on something, and then they elect their executive, and then they are the ones that take what the locals decided to do and actually implement them throughout the entire year. On the provincial executive, there are four constituency groups. 
There is the sheer uh, LGBT. There's part-time mature, which actually one of the BUSU delegates got elected to do, which is extremely exciting. There's a disability students commissioner and an international students commissioner. On top of that, there's also a women's commissioner, an aboriginal students commissioner, which a BUSU delegate was also elected into, as well as treasurer, deputy chair, and the provincial chairperson. So long story short, that's what I did this weekend. Now, I didn't post a video last Thursday and Friday like I promised. I'm sorry. So instead of saying that I'm going to post another two videos this week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the comments below into two challenges. What I want you to do is post down there a challenge or something to discipline me for not posting videos like I said I would because I don't want to promise I'm going to post another two and then not do it. So this way, if you guys want to put down there a challenge or a discipline, then I will do that for a video coming up this month or next, well, next month, because this is the last video of this month. So yeah, do that. Punish me, because I didn't post two videos that I said I would, and I'm sorry, but we have to live with the consequences of our decisions, and that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, discipline me. Just no leather, please. It hurts. So yeah, that's all that happened last week. My name is Corey Degani. Thank you again for watching. Make sure you click the subscription button below so you get an update every Monday whenever I post a video. And I hope all of you have a fantastic week. See you. Avec les associants du, avec, avec les associants de, avec les associants de étudiants et du tiens, no, avec, avec les étudiants, avec les so, avec les associants de étudiants, étudiants, étudiants et étudiants et étudiantes du collège universitaire de Saint Boniface, local 38. I can't even remember that. There's no name is. Avec les Avec la session de étudiants et étudiantes de du du je peux parler français oui avec la association de étudiantes et étudiants non étudiants et étudiantes étudiantes why is this so hard to say because I can't remember the name of the local avec la association de étudiants et étudiantes du collège universitaire De Saint Boniface, local 28. I can say it if I'm reading it, but I can't remember what it's called if I just go off of memory. But I gotta look at you. You, I gotta look at you. But I can't, cause I gotta look at this.